And if it were not for that late penalty on pit road, we may have very well have seen that number 30 Qualcomm truck in victory lane. Nelson PK Jr. kind enough to join us here in the hub. And, you know, Nelson, when you, you look at that race a few days later, is it good news because you ran as well as you did or, or are you still, you know, sad or upset a little bit that you weren't in victory lane? Well, I mean, I'm a racing driver, so obviously I'm a bit upset that we didn't win the race. But, um, I mean, obviously there's very good news that we are very competitive and uh, that me and Chris Carrier were working very well together. And, you know, we arrived in a very hard track, a track that the tire deck is, is very big, you know, it falls off very quickly. And we managed to find a setup and work together and find a way which we could run quick and don't have enough, don't have as much tire degradation as the other cars. So I guess going to Kansas, uh, a track where you've also run well, uh, you go there with some confidence, I would imagine. Yeah, for sure. I think all the mile and a half tracks. Uh, last year, I, I did okay. You know, uh, this year I'll do even better. Just, I think, me and Chris were working better together. I think Turner Motorsports is going to provide us with even better trucks that I had last year. So uh, I think there's no reason why. I think uh, we're in a very good momentum at the moment. You know, Martinsville was my weakest point last year, and this year we finished sixth. So I think, uh, you know, we're going to upgrade everything we had from last year, and uh, it's going to be a very good weekend for sure. You know, Nelson, looking at that clip uh, prior to you here on the set, you know, you've had an amazing uh, variety, I guess, an amazing background coming into the Camping World Truck Series. Why did you, why did you decide to come NASCAR racing? I think it was, first of all, I think um, no Brazilians ever really did well, you know, established themselves and, and had a career over here. Um, I, I, had a, I had a lot of opportunities to go to Indy cars, but uh, there were so many Brazilians there already, and I just, I don't know, I just wanted to do some, and I had no idea, honestly, that how, how interesting and how fun it was to race over here, and, you know, and after, after the, those few races in 2010 that I, you know, I, I still was deciding what I wanted to do, I kind of, I said, this is really interesting, this is really different, it's real racing, you know, we're always side by side, you know, um, and I decided to do a full season. And last year, I figured out how wonderful it is to live in North Carolina, which a lot of people don't believe me. But I tell <laughs> We my believe you. We, you know. <laughs> a lot of my friends they, they, that come over and visit me, they say, how do you love this place? I, I just like it. People are friendly. The weather is good. I'm close to my team, you know. Uh, living in America is a, it is a great country. I mean, uh, my family never came a lot to to North America, well, to America and vacations. We were more of a European mm -hmm. kind of vacations uh, people. So I really also, I was also scared of living in America. I had no idea what it was going to be like. And uh, I just, everything, every aspect of the racing, of the people, the, you know, the culture, everything has been fantastic for me. But we're glad to hear. Ray Dunlap was here yesterday and he said Nelson PK Jr. is the real deal. I, you know, for what that's worth, <laughs> Ray says he's an expert. And, and when you I hope, win, so. I hope he's right. Yeah, we do too. When you win your first race, we'd love to have you back. I'll be here next week. All right.